Kalki, also called Kalkan or Karki, is the tenth avatar of Hindu god Vishnu to end the Kali Yuga, one of the four periods in endless cycle of existence in Vaishnavism cosmology. He is described in the Puranas as the avatar who rejuvenates existence by ending the darkest and destructive period to remove a dharma and ushering in the Satya Yuga, while riding a white horse with a fiery sword. The description and details of Kalki are inconsistent among the Puranic texts. He is, for example, only an invisible force destroying evil and chaos in some texts, while an actual person who kills those who persecute others, and portrayed as someone leading an army of Brahmin warriors in some. His mythology has been compared to the concepts of Messiah, Apocalypse, Frashokareti, and Maitreya in other religions. Kalki is also found in Buddhist texts. In Tibetan Buddhism, the Kalachakra Tantra describes 25 rulers, each named Kalki who rule from the heavenly Shambhala. The last Kalki of Shambhala destroys a barbarian Muslim army, after which Buddhism flourishes. This text is dated to about 10th century CE. However, some Muslims also claim that the Prophet Muhammad was the Kalki avatar, because of his association with a flying white horse, and his father's name is similar in meaning to that of Vishnuyasha, the father of Kalki. Some prophecies of Kalki say that he will kill the sinful people and atheists by the millions. The Kalki Purana is the main canon text about Lord Kalki. In the Kalki Purana Kalki is described as the supreme being, source and end of all other beings, and ruler of the universe and gods. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The name Kalki means, white horse, destroyer of filth, and eternity. Some scholars such as Otto Schrader to suggest that the original term may have been Karki white horse knight, from the horse which morphed into Kalki. This proposal is supported by two versions of Mahabharata manuscripts e.g. the G3.6 manuscript that have been found, where the Sanskrit verses name the avatar to be Karki, rather than Kalki. Topic. Description Kalki is an avatara of Vishnu. Avatara means descent and refers to a descent of the divine into the material realm of human existence. The Garuda Purana lists ten avatars, with Kalki being the tenth. He is described as the avatar who appears at the end of the Kali Yuga. He ends the darkest, degenerating and chaotic stage of the Kali Yuga period to remove a dharma and ushers in the Satya Yuga, while riding a white horse with a fiery sword. He restarts a new cycle of time. He is described as a Brahmin warrior in the Puranas. Topic. Wheel of Time Tantra In the Buddhist text Kalachakra Tantra, the righteous kings are called Kalki Kalkan, lit. Chieftain living in Sambhala. There are many Kalki in this text, each fighting barbarism, persecution and chaos. The last Kalki is called Kakran and is predicted to end the chaos and degeneration by assembling a large army to eradicate the forces of Islam. A great war and Armageddon will destroy the barbaric Muslim forces, states the text. According to Donald Lopez, a professor of Buddhist studies, Kalki is predicted to start the new cycle of perfect era where Buddhism will flourish, people will live long, happy lives and righteousness will reign supreme. The text is significant in establishing the chronology of the Kalki idea to be from post-7th century, probably the 9th or 10th century. Lopez states that the Buddhist text likely borrowed it from Hindu mythology. Other scholars, such as Yiju Jin, state that the text originated in Central Asia in the 10th century, and Tibetan literature picked up a version of it in India around 1027 CE. Topic. Development. Kalki is mentioned in several Hindu texts including the Agni Purana and Ramayana and Maharatha, the epithet, Kalmulkinam, meaning, brilliant remover of darkness, is found in the Vedic literature for Rudra, later Shiva, which has been interpreted to be, forerunner of Kalki. Kalki appears for the first time in the Great War epic Mahabharata. The mention of Kalki in the Mahabharata occurs only once, over the verses 3.188.85 to 3.189.6. The Kalki avatar is found in the Maha Puranas such as Vishnu Purana, Matsya Purana, and Bhagavata Purana. 
However, the details relating the Kalki mythologies are divergent between the epic and the Puranas, as well as within the Puranas. In the Mahabharata, according to Hiltbeitel, Kalki is an extension of the Parasurama avatar legend where a Brahmin warrior destroys Kshatriyas who were abusing their power to spread chaos, evil, and persecution of the powerless. The epic character of Kalki restores Dharma, restores justice in the world, but does not end the cycle of existence. The Kalkan section in the Mahabharata occurs in the Markandeya section. There, states Luis Ryman, can "...hardly be any doubt that the Markandeya section is a late addition to the epic. Making Yudhisthira ask a question about conditions at the end of Kali and the beginning of Krta—something far removed from his own situation—is merely a device for justifying the inclusion of this subject matter in the epic." The coverage of Kalki in these Hindu texts is scant, in contrast to the legends of Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Narasimha, Vimana and Krishna, all of which are repeatedly and extensively described. According to Dimit, this was likely because just like the concept of the Buddha as a Vishnu avatar, the concept of Kalki was somewhat in flux when the major Puranas were being compiled. This is because Kalki is a future avatar, prophesied in the past and predicted thousands of years ago. However, many Hindu people worship Lord Kalki and he has several temples in India. This myth may have developed in the Hindu texts both as a reaction to the invasions of the Indian subcontinent by various armies over the centuries from its northwest, and the mythologies these invaders brought with them. According to John Michener, the Kalki concept was likely borrowed, in some measure, from similar Jewish, Zoroastrian, and other religions. Michener states that some Puranas such as the Yuga Purana do not mention Kalki and offer a different cosmology than the other Puranas. The Yuga Purana mythologizes in greater details the post-Maurya era Indo-Greek and Sakha era, while the Manvantara theme containing the Kalki idea is mythologized greater in other Puranas. Luis González Ryman concurs with Michener, stating that the Yuga Purana does not mention Kalki. In other texts such as the sections 2.36 and 2.37 of the Vayu Purana, states Ryman, it is not Kalkan who ends the Kali Yuga, but a different character named Pramiti. Most historians, states Arvind Sharma, link the development of Kalki mythology in Hinduism to the suffering caused by foreign invasions. <laughs> Kalki Purana A text named Kalki Purana is a relatively recent text, likely composed in Bengal. Its dating floruit is the 18th century. Wendy Doniger dates the Kalki mythology containing Kalki Purana to between 1500 and 1700 CE. In the Kalki Purana, Kalki marries Princess Padmavati, the daughter of Bhadratha of Simhala. He fights an evil army in many wars, ends evil but does not end existence. Kalki returns to Sambala, inaugurates a new yuga for the good and then goes to Vaikuntha after ruling the world for 1,000 years. The Kalki Purana states that Kalki will kill all the atheists and will have many powerful divine weapons obtained from Lord Shiva. It is said that Kalki will obtain these after training under Lord Parasurama. The Kalki Purana describes Lord Kalki as the supreme deity even above Brahma and Shiva, and that he will kill all the sinful kings who have corrupted the world, and restore the Dharma. Kalki avatar in Sikhism The Kalki avatar appears in the historic Sikh texts, most notably in Dasam Granth as Nihakalanki, a text that is traditionally attributed to Guru Gobind Singh. The Chabas avatar 24 avatars section mentions sage Matsunara describing the appearance of Vishnu avatars to fight evil, greed, violence and ignorance. It includes Kalki as the 24th incarnation to lead the war between the forces of righteousness and unrighteousness, states Davin. <laughs> <laughs> Features and iconography Lord Shiva said to Lord Kalki, This horse was manifested from Garuda, and it can go anywhere at will and assume many different forms. Here also is a parrot that knows everything, past, present, and future. I would like to offer you both the horse and the parrot and so please accept them. By the influence of this horse and parrot, the people of the world will know you as a learned scholar of all scriptures who is a master of the art of releasing arrows, and thus the conqueror of all. I would also like to present you this sharp, strong sword and so please accept it. 
The handle of this sword is bedecked with jewels, and it is extremely powerful. As such, the sword will help you to reduce the heavy burden of the earth." Thereafter, Lord Kalki picked up his brightly shining trident and bow and arrows and sets out from his palace, riding upon his victorious horse and wearing his amulet. Shuka said to Padmavati, Lord Kalki received a sword, horse, parrot, and shield from Mahadeva, as a benediction. Predictions about birth and arrival In the cyclic concept of time Puranic Kalpa, Kaliyuga is variously estimated to last between 400,000 and 432,000 years. In some Vaishnava texts, Kalki is forecasted to appear on a white horse, at the end of Kaliyuga, to end the age of degeneration and to restore virtue and world order. The Kalki Purana states that Kalki will be born to the family of Samati and Vishnuyasha, or alternatively, Aisardani and Bishenjan, he appears at the end of Kali Yuga to restore the order of the world. Vishnuyasha is stated to be a prominent Brahmin headman of the village called Shambhala. He will become the king, a turner of the wheel, and one who triumphs. He will eliminate all barbarians and robbers, end a dharma, restart dharma, and save the good people. After that, humanity will be transformed and will prevail on earth, and the Golden Age will begin. In the Kanchipuram temple, two relief Puranic panels depict Kalki, one relating to lunar daughter -based dynasty and another to solar sun -based dynasty. In these panels, states D. Dennis Hudson, the story depicted is in terms of Kalki fighting and defeating Asura Kali. He rides a white horse called Devadatta, ends evil, purifies everyone's minds and consciousness, and heralds the start of Krita Yuga. People claim to be Kalki List of people who have claimed to be the Kalki avatar Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, founder of Ahmadiyya movement, claimed to be the Kalki avatar, as well Mahdi. Baha'i faith, that emerged from Islam and is a distinct religion, has identified Baha'u'llah as Kalki as well as the prophesied redeeming God at the end of the world, as claimed in Babism, Islam Mahdi, Christianity Messiah, and Buddhism Maitreya. Sri Bhagavan, of Golden Age Foundation, Bhagavad Dharma, Kalki Dharma and the Oneness Organization, born on 7 March 1949. Samael An Weor, founder of the Universal Christian Gnostic Movement. Riaz Ahmed Gohar Shahi of Kalki Avatar Foundation. See also References Bibliography <references> 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 External links 